FNH uh, central scar, as I said, high signal intensity on T2 weighted images and fills in on delayed images. That's pathognomonic. The lesion also is well circumscribed and you can take a pencil and draw it out. Hemangioma, central scar, high signal intensity on T2 weighted images, post gadolinium images does not fill in. The lesion is well circumscribed as you can see and there is progressive filling in of the lesion in a hemangioma. Fibrolamellar hepatocellular cancer, the central scar is heterogeneous, low signal intensity and as you can see does not demonstrate enhancement on delayed imaging. Pseudocapsule is seen in lesions of hepatocellular origins in HCC or in an adenoma and HCC will demonstrate washout as I said but an adenoma will not and that is how you differentiate these two lesions that can have a pseudocapsule. Lipid containing liver masses, adenoma, HCC, these are fairly rare, so I'll not talk about that, but an adeno adenoma and HCC, and as, as I said, you know, both will demonstrate drop of signal, this is an HCC drop of signal on out of phase images, adenoma will as well, adenoma and HCC both can be heterogeneous because of fat or hemorrhage within them, but again, washout will help you confidently diagnose an adenoma versus an HCC. Another entity which we commonly encounter is focal fatty infiltration and there's loss of signal on out of phase images but the vessels are traversing through the lesion. So that is how you can conf confidently tell, tell a lesion will almost always displace the uh, blood vessels but focal fatty infiltration will not. So recommendations for indeterminate lesions on MRI. Remember one thing, not every lesion has read the book. So there are lesions that will be illiterate and will not follow what the books tell us. But in those cases, the things that will help us are history or blood tests. So we can always look them up. So check the history. If there is history of malignancy or chronic liver disease, uh, if it is absent, the lesion is likely benign. If you are still worried or concerned, you can always follow it up. If this history is present and the lesion looks suspicious, you have a choice between short-term follow-up or biopsy. In the setting of malignancy, multiple publications have shown that MRI was more useful for excluding malignant lesions. The same in a tabulated form. So goals of the talk were Im to discuss imaging protocol, uh, but discuss T1 weighted, T2 weighted and dynamic contrast enhanced sequences to, to discuss malignant versus benign lesions and also to talk about specific diagnosis. Thank you so much. <laughs> exactly saved by the bell. Yes, you're right. Okay. So are, are those agents still being used? And, and, and if so, um... In Europe, they are still being used. In US, they were banned. And then there were repeated re attempts to revive them. But unfortunately, there were some complications related to the, those and a, and a few deaths. Uh, but in Europe, a few, there were a few deaths too. But they continued with their research in, in US, unfortunately. I don't think that we'll be getting them back in the near future. So publications, I've read publications the, from Europe that are still coming out on iron oxide um, and, you know, agents, but not in US, unfortunately. Thank you so much. Thank you.